Watch this video and you are going to become a better nutrition coach by understanding and learning about the most important things in nutrition coaching right now. You see, nutrition coaching has been made to seem way more complicated than it actually is. And that's largely because big nutrition certifications teach you knowledge you can't actually apply to real people who want to get results. And the latest coaching apps presenting you with technology you really don't need to work with clients. And business coaches that want to take all your money in exchange for the promise to get more clients only to realize that you're actually the client. That said, if you want to get the best results for your nutrition coaching business, you're going to need to know and understand the strategies we're going to be sharing with you in this video. Here's my commitment to you. If you watch until the end of this video, you are going to become a better nutrition coach by understanding how to get better results for your nutrition clients, how to create an effective and streamlined coaching system, and how to attract new paying nutrition clients that are begging to hire you. Okay, so first off, who can be a nutrition coach? Anyone can be a nutrition coach, but after working in this field for over 12 years, teaching and certifying coaches in the last five, here's what I've noticed. In my own nutrition certification program, the Dr. Mark Method, I've noticed 80% of clients make up two main groups. Number one, someone with a personal transformation story that wants to give back and help other people through the power of nutrition in the same way that they were helped. Or number two, a fitness professional, someone like a personal trainer or a strength coach or a group fitness instructor. Typically, these people have an active audience of people that want to pay for nutrition coaching services and it helps them make more money and get better results for their clients so it only makes sense to offer it. The other remaining 20% are in healthcare roles like nurses and doctors. And in all of these situations, we've noticed if you have five spare hours throughout the week, you can create a nutrition coaching business where you help 10 people and make an additional $2,000 per month with your passion. Nutrition coaching can be an amazing career or a very profitable side hustle. Hey, it's Coach Meredith here. And before you keep watching this video, I want to personally invite you to a Dr. Mark Method webinar that I'm hosting. It's on the step-by-step -step process that took me from struggling to starting my nutrition coaching, having a 10K month, and creating a full client roster with a wait list. Go to the first link in the description below to register, but act fast because space is limited. I hope to see you there. Now back to the video. And here's how nutrition coaches help people. Here's a non-exhaustive list and feel free to pause and screenshot this part because it's really good brainstorming for your own business. I've even had coaches tell me that their clients tell them that through the service, they're actually saving money. So that's another benefit. Now, if you can break down these points even further, the sky is the limit in terms of how you as a nutrition coach can help your clients get results. Especially when you start to think about the major impact what we eat has on our health. Quick reminder here, you do need to remember that nutrition coaches don't diagnose medical conditions. You don't treat them and you don't manage them as well. You can work with someone that has those, but your nutrition recommendations should never be with the intent to treat any of those things. Another way to think about this is you as a nutrition coach, you help people in ways that they could figure out on their own, but you're just going to do it in a way that's faster, more effective, and even more fun. So how do nutrition coaches work with people? How a nutrition coach actually conducts their coaching has a lot to do with their experience, background, and certifications, but also their personal philosophy around how this can be done. If you're sitting there wondering, how can I carry this out? Think about how people view you as a coach. Is it no nonsense and straight to the point or more empathetic and understanding? What types of goals do you help people achieve? Is it competitive bodybuilding preparation or helping grandmas run around after their grandkids. This will help tell you more about how you should conduct your coaching. But here's how most coaches do it. There are more prescriptive ways like meal plans and macros. As a coach, you could tell your clients exactly what to eat or teach them how to eat to achieve a specific goal. The former, which is the meal plan route, isn't actually the best advice. And here are some reasons why. Number one, most clients have a hard time sticking to them. Number two, it doesn't doesn't teach your clients much about nutrition or what foods are made up of. When they get results, they'll think it's because of the meal plan, not because of the appropriate amount of calories and macronutrients specific to them as an individual and their goals. Number three, lastly, as nutrition coaches, we really shouldn't be providing meal plans. If you tell someone exactly what to eat, they listen to you and they end up with health problems, that ends up being on you. Here's what most coaches do instead. They provide food levels or calories and macronutrients. They based on the individual's requirements and goals, and they set a structure around that. This approach, sometimes called flexible dieting, still works because you tell the client how to eat, but you give them a little bit more freedom around their food choices. It's grown in popularity because it's effective, educational, 
and very coachable. Remember, as a coach, you need to be able to give suggestions based on what you're seeing. The more prescriptive you are, the more you can measure if a client was able to stick to what you said. Now keep in mind, there's ways of being prescriptive around what a person eats. A few approaches that come to mind are the Vertical Diet by Stan Efferding or Greg Doucette's Circle Diet, which is a more meal option approach. Either way, the recommendations you give still manage the big picture variables of nutrition, like energy balance and macronutrients, whether you're prescribing them directly. Now, new nutrition coaches don't have to be so prescriptive. There are other ways to coach. Here are some less prescriptive ways. There are many ways to coach that are not so number heavy or rules based. They're more like guidelines. One such way is a more habit based approach founded by companies such as Precision Nutrition. And these focus more on behavioral change. This type of approach focuses more on how to eat versus how much to eat. Some would refer to this as more mindful eating practices and tuning into more of what your body needs and the feelings it has. We're talking fullness, appetite, and satiety, and the complex cultural implications of eating and not being distracted by others. Now, one nutrition approach that's growing in popularity, and we see a lot of nutrition coachings apply, is intuitive eating. Again, focusing on eating in response to your satisfaction and hunger cues without the intention of changing body composition or weight at all. If we think of these coaching approaches on a spectrum, we have more restrictive and specific ones on one side, like meal plans and rule-based diets. And on the other side, we have more freedom with some guidelines, but it becomes less prescriptive and somewhat vague, which is actually intentional. The most successful coaches from both a business and a client satisfaction standpoint, pick and develop a specific approach and coach the majority of their clients that way, attracting new clients that would be a perfect fit for their coaching style. But there can also be philosophical differences between how coaches operate. Now, there are other schools of thought when it comes to coaching styles. And one that comes to mind is more holistic or alternative nutrition coaching and emphasizing looking at the whole person, health, body, and mind as they're being coached. But at the end of the day, nutrition coaching is a results-based business. People pay nutrition coaches to help them get a specific result. So we we always recommend coaches have a system in place to prescribe both macro and calorie recommendations and monitor those with their clients. If you want the exact tracking sheet that we use with our clients to get results like these, comment results below and we'll get it over to you. Which leads us to the next point, nutrition coaching delivery. What separates nutrition coaching from other nutrition services is the delivery. And this is actually nutrition coaching's superpower because it's the perfect blend of a service that people want because because they see the value, like getting results, it's cost effective, and cuts all the fluff with a streamlined coaching delivery. And that's the business trifecta. It's what people want, a price they're willing to pay, and a service that they actually enjoy. But let's stick on that last part for a second here. This isn't just an expert telling someone everything they need to know. It's delivering key nutrition information that a client can apply, stick to, and ultimately get a result with. That's what coaching's all about. Think about it, on the first day of soccer practice, your coach doesn't give you the history of soccer. In Instead, you do a few drills, start playing, and address the rest later. How this looks in nutrition coaching is this. First, you start with an assessment that shows somebody what's holding them back right now from reaching their goals. Next, you set them up on an initial plan based on what they need to do to see results. And then the coaching is carried out with future correspondence with adjustments and tracking of progress. Typically what happens next is the weekly check-in process. Every seven days on a pre-scheduled day, like a Monday, the coach will collect some predetermined data, like body weight averages, ideally collected at the same time and under similar conditions, so they can assess trends, but also any performance metrics from the gym or sports, and some subjective feedback on hunger levels, energy, sleep, and stress, usually with scales like a one to five scale or a one to 10 scale, so that these metrics can be compared week to week. All of this information allows the coach to track progress and get feedback on how their client is doing. They will also measure adherence, which is how well your client is actually sticking to the plan. From there, they can take this data to make adjustments to the plan if needed. This could be taking food away, adding food back in, both from a macronutrient or calorie perspective. Most coaches don't need to make these changes too frequently because you do need to give the changes you already made enough time to really see progress. But what happens more frequently is the coach will make suggestions to improve adherence or remove barriers to success. This is the art of coaching, getting a client to stick to things, motivating them to take action 
action in bite-sized steps. Now, usually this feedback will be returned within 24 hours of the check-in being submitted. Most of the time, this is done electronically so that the client does not have to meet up with the coach. And then the client and coach will go back a few times to clarify any confusion and agree to the plan. Now, we have actually created a check-in process that does all of this in around five minutes. And it gets better results for our clients in a quarter of the time. Not to mention, our clients love this check-in process. If you want a free training on our hybrid check-in process, check out the first link in the description below and it's yours. Now the week time frame is the sweet spot for this process. It gives enough time for the client to try out the plan and see if it's working, but it's not too much time that both parties aren't close to the process. So how long would someone work with a nutrition coach? In an ideal world, your client will work with you until they achieve their goal, but also enough time to set up a long-term maintenance plan afterwards. Additionally, there's no reason the client can't set new goals and continue working with you as a coach. This isn't always, you reached your goal, now get out of here. One of the main reasons that coaching works so well is because of the accountability. And some people will need that long term. Now this service delivery is what helps nutrition coaches get their clients results, make more money, and stand apart from everyone else in the field. Now speaking of money, let's talk about what you should be charging for your nutrition coaching. Most coaches will sell their service at a monthly rate. The average rate for a nutrition coach is $150 to $200 a month for new coaches, $200 to $350 for intermediate coaches, and then $350 to $600 for more advanced coaches with a lot of experience. These are averages and pricing can be subjective, so you can be flexible here. Additionally, many coaches will sell their services in time frame packages. Let's say three, six, or 12 months at a discount for pay in full. Typically, this type of commitment is necessary for long-term change anyway, because meaningful progress typically doesn't happen in one month. And that's how much nutrition coaching typically costs the client. Now let's talk briefly about where nutrition coaches find their clients. So for the most part, nutrition coaching is performed online, meaning nutrition coaches can work with clients outside of their geographical area. So most coaches are gonna leverage digital platforms like social media and websites to promote their coaching. And when done properly, you're gonna get interested clients from all over the world interested in taking that next step, where you can have some sort of sales conversation to see if this person is a good fit for your coaching. But there also could be tons of traction around word of mouth marketing or referrals. When clients achieve remarkable results, Results, they're gonna to wanna to tell their friends and family about it. This is strengthened when the coach is gonna use testimonial content, like traditional before and after photos or client testimonials sharing their biggest wins, like these results here. Now, I've spent the last 12 plus years nutrition coaching and teaching others to do the same. So I hope this video helped you learn more about nutrition coaching and why it's the fastest growing career in health, nutrition, and wellness. Now, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'm gonna have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. Today, we broke down the big components components of a nutrition coaching business, but one thing I sort of glossed over is the check-in process, and you're gonna learn more about that right here. So make sure to check it out now, and I'll see you in the next video.